Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. Uh, as you know, the first round MCC result is out, and we have uh, uh, in front of you the comparison between last year deemed university cutoff versus this year deemed university cutoff. So for all the clinical branches, I have mentioned the cutoff score, uh, cutoff rank, and the college's name. So as you see. Uh, the cutoff okay then you will find that there is no negative shift and mostly in the branch uh, most of the branches has got taken positive shift for example radio last year it could close up to rank of 47000 and this year up to 48000 dermatology there is uh, around 500 or 550 of negative shift in medicine also there is a negative shift of around 4000 in pediatrics you can see uh, there is a little bit of negative shift in obg there is positive shift in ortho there is positive shift of uh, around 1400 okay this year uh, it got close up to rank of 71870 last college i have given in the bracket and uh, the first um, uh, after the branch name the first column you see is this year cutoff and the next column you see is last year cutoff general surgery there is a negative shift of around 3000 yeah, emergency medicine last year also dy patil was the last college this year but this year so much difference in the rank psychiatry it has uh, 4000 of negative shift and uh, tb in chest around 5000 of 4000 of negative shift radiotherapy this year it it it, got, it it is available up to rank of 61000 the same rural medical college loni was available up to rank of 43000 last year ent this year uh, there is a little bit of positive shift so it's mixed response some branches got negative shift and uh, some got positive shift like ophthalmology has got positive shift by around 4000 rank okay and anesthesiology uh, almost same but little bit like around 1000 of difference okay so this is the um, last cutoff okay for branch wise it's important to know uh, how the cutoff will be that will be shared in the further videos and i will be sharing the all india branch wise cutoff for obc and ews okay so stay tuned uh, and uh, this year we can expect more seats and that will impact our next year uh, next round cutoff also we will get more seats in particularly dnb and nb diploma as i expect okay and uh, that will uh, shift the ranking for the candidates looking for dn uh, deemed university seats now uh, the candidates might be a little confused what action to be taken next so if you got any seat so what should you do so if you like the seat okay and uh, you want to join then you have to uh, do the reporting and there are two options offline reporting and online reporting okay if you very sure if you're very sure that you want to join the seat okay then go for offline reporting because in the case of offline reporting you can upgrade the seat keeping the round one seat retained in case you don't get seat upgraded then the round one seat will be your final uh, seat for this counseling and you will be debarred from any other counseling process from state and all in case you want to check the possibility uh, and compare between what you get from state with uh, what you have got from all india then you can do online reporting okay and in that case you have to just uh, upload the documents on the portal it will be provided further on mcc portal you will see the notification so keep a close watch on mcc website once you do the online reporting okay then uh, by the time you get the allotment or the result announced from a state by 3rd of february you can resign the seat online so you don't need to go uh, travel to the colleges and the fee also you can deposit in online mode and you can get back the fee and you can join the colleges allotted from the state third scenario in case you don't like the seat 
you had done the wrong choice filling you have uh, uh, you had filled the choices which you didn't intend to take like you wanted uh, anesthesia branch but you filled uh, pathology also for backup now you realize that okay up to your rank uh, like you just missed anesthesiology and you have chance to get anesthesiology in the round two so what you can take decision uh, you, you can leave the seat means you don't have to take any action at all means you don't need to report or no need to send anything that is called free exit in case of free exit you will be eligible for round 2 even you resign the seat still you are eligible for round 2 okay but you take the seat you can only go for upgradation and whichever seat you get in round 2 will be your final seat but in case free exit or the resignation in round 2 you can go and if you got the seat there you have option to get the, the get the security fee forfeited and still you are eligible for mop up round so you are not eligible for mop up round only one in one case when you have the seat upgraded okay when you participated for upgradation in case you got the seat freshly allotted in round 2 you can still take the decision not to join the college okay you can resign the seat by 3rd of February only if you have joined but if you haven't joined and you got the seat allotment in round 2 you can leave the seat just the security deposit registration fee will get forfeited and you have to do the fresh registration in mop up round you are still eligible and you can keep looking for the chances from the states so it all depends on how much uh, chance you have from the state that calculation you need to do so this way you need to proceed I hope uh, the approach is clear to you and in case you need guidance so we have a team and uh, we will uh, guide you under the paid counseling guidance so that you can get a seat and get the best possible branch including your state counseling and all India counseling FCPS and all other opportunities available to you so thanks for watching and have a great day all the best. Take care.